Yeah, okay, sure, thank you. Thank you. Now, what uh, should we do with the increasing amount of domestic rubbish? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, 8,000 residents on an estate in North London are about to find out with the first vacuum-driven waste disposal system. Instead of putting uh, rubbish in bags for collection, items will be sucked through a series of pipes to a central point. Nick Hyam has been to find out how it works. It's called Wembley City. It's a development of more than 4,000 new flats, literally in the shadow of Wembley Stadium. And what makes it different is this. In the courtyard, there are these portals for rubbish. One for dry recyclables, things like paper and card. One for organic recyclables, food waste. And one basically for everything else. You sort your rubbish into three different categories upstairs in your kitchen. And when you leave for work in the morning, you pop it into the chute and forget about it. The pipes go down to the basement car park, where the rubbish sits until a massive vacuum cleaner sucks it away. No smelly bins, no lorries, no bin men. We also eliminate the need for bins and, 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 and containers uh, out in the public or inside the buildings, and also the heavy work associated with, with conventional waste collection. In the past 30 years, the system's been installed in cities across Europe, but never before in the UK. The problem? It costs developers a lot to build, but it's the local council that enjoys most of the savings. The system as it's currently designed um, uses very much larger containers within its waste transfer station, so that will require us to visit and empty those containers on a much less frequent basis than we might otherwise have to do. So that in itself will, will create a saving without a doubt. And this is where it ends up, the central collection centre. That great big green pipe is the outlet from the underground network and laid in all the roads around here. These great big things are essentially enormous Dyson vacuum cleaners which swirl the rubbish around, the air goes off the top, the waste goes down to the bottom where it's compacted, squashed together, and then it's shoved into one of these containers where it can be put onto a lorry and taken away. Environmentally, it's claimed the system's a great improvement. The challenge is to make it work economically. And with the property market in slump thanks to the credit crunch, it may be some time before other developments follow this one's lead. Nick Hyam, BBC News, Wembley.